1944, Ogilvy Institute's Junior Nature Camp was born out of the vision and teachings of West Virginia's first naturalist and forester, A.B. Brooks. Designed to be a place for youth to study and be enveloped in nature, the camp is still going strong today just outside of Wheeling. Each year, 60 to 100 kids from all over the state, country, and sometimes the world meet at the camp at Dallas Pike and live together for two weeks. This year, the camp started on July 24th and runs through August 6th. Jeff Altimus is the camp director. An avid birder, his camp motto is to keep it simple. We're just, uh, I, I always say nuts and bolts of nature, the simple things, learning uh, bird identification, you know, songs and, and sight with bird walks and uh, learn some trees, learn some, some plants and get in the stream and learn about uh, reptiles and amphibians. Natasha Diamond is the program director. She says mostly kids return year after year for the camaraderie and for the residential camp experience but she strives to keep them grounded with a healthy dose of environmental science and arts. Every morning everyone gets up willingly, believe it or not, at seven o'clock in the morning for bird walk. And then the morning sessions, like last week we had dendrology, uh, they did an insect study, stream study this year was really good. This week we're doing herpetology. I was teaching herpetology at junior nature camp this year and a lot of kids say they see copperheads, especially along the creek. They're usually confusing them with the northern water snake. And we were going to take kids out in the field, and I wanted them to at least know what a real northern copperhead looks like. I know this is not a fancy herpetological snake stick. It's just a piece of oak. But this is Norm. Norm is a two-year-old northern copperhead, typical found in West Virginia, venomous snake. Then in the afternoon sessions we try to take some of that information and expand on it in uh, more of an ecological context. And that's what the Alula is. It's basically, it's the hawk's pinky and, and hawks and raptors have really developed this because with that Alula there it gives them incredible maneuver, maneuverability in the air. Sometimes they get a little bit and they really turn it on to something big like a career and we have you know quite a few campers over the years that have done that. I love our philosophy, learning nature, learning nature, learning the trees, learning the names of trees. Before you can love something, whether you're talking about a person or a flower or a bird or nature in general, before you can love something and want to take care of something, you have to know it. For West Virginia Public Broadcasting, I'm Glennis Ford in Dallas Pike. Oh! Oh! Carrie got a double!